Here we have the 2.2 Ready, Set, Go, and I'm looking at the set. So we have different representations. We want to determine if it's linear, exponential, or neither, and we need to justify by showing work or explaining. So let's look at number five. The population of a town is decreasing at a rate of 1.5% per year. So whenever we see a percent, we know it's exponential growth or decay. This one we're decreasing, so that would be decay. And we can remember from 2.1, we would write a function our decay function where we have an exponent. So that would make this exponential whenever you see a percent. So my y is because there's a percentage value. That always means exponential because then we put it in our growth or decay formulas. So six, same thing. Uh, let's skip to seven. Linear, exponential, or neither. One of our rules of linear is that the x value has a degree of 1. So there's an invisible 1 right there on the 3x. Because of that, it's linear. So x has degree of 1. Uh, number eight, let's look, let's see if we can find the constant growth rate. So this one we are adding three or timesing by four. If I add three again, I should have seven, but that's actually a difference of five. And if we were to multiply those, that would be times four and I don't even know what you would multiply for by to get 9. So this one is neither. So we do not have, does not have constant growth rate. 